And this, there could be a tunnel under the Willamette River for TriMet riders. The general manager floated the idea at a board meeting as one alternative to the aging steel bridge. Tonight, our Lisa Balick is live by the steel bridge in northwest Portland. So, Lisa, this could happen. Well, I'll tell you, it's very noisy out here with all the traffic. This bridge over here, it's 100 years old. Now, it's got so much traffic. It's a main route for buses and light rail. And TriMet leaders say they need to start looking at other options. Now, the bridge is actually owned by the Union Pacific Railroad. TriMet rents space and maintains the tracks for five bus lines and more than 600 MAX trains a day that cross the river on the steel bridge. But it's slow growing across with all the traffic. TriMet expects more MAX trains as the population in our area grows, so TriMet says it's looking at other options for years from now. And at some point, I think the part of the options review is, in fact, do you replace the bridge? Mm -hmm. um, do you put a bridge further down? Or do you at some point, does this region, as it starts to 20, 30 years out, gets closer to 3 million population, at some point do we have to go underground? Underground meaning a tunnel underneath the Willamette River. Now again, TriMet can't replace the bridge itself since it doesn't own it, but it's looking sooner rather than later at options since it would need to do planning and find a billion with a B dollars for a new bridge or tunnel, and that takes time. Now I did today talk with Union Pacific Railroad, which owns the bridge. I'll have their answer as to what their plans are for this bridge coming up tonight at 5. Live in Northwest Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. So much of our infrastructure is getting old. Lisa, thanks for the update.